we're gonna get it rocking, man. The factor see we're gonna keep it going. Nah, man. So, uh, man, this week, how you feeling, man? You know what you want to kick it off with? What you, what you thinking, man? Man, you know me, man. Well, I'm uh, <laughs> it, it has to do with entertainment. It's entertainment. Okay. It's business. It's industry. But this situation, man, at the Super Bowl, man, when uh. Super Bowl after party when your boy uh, Russell Wilson and uh, his wife embar- Sierra, flat out embarrassed. They left the party a little early. Oh, God. embarrassing! They left it a little early, man. And uh, what happened? Uh, I, Drake was announcing future or something like that. So right? Drake threw an after party. He's gonna there to perform, and it's just funny. This is just how life is. I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> so, but uh, Drake's performing, and as Sierra and Russell's walking out, you can literally hear. Drake shouting out Future, bigging him up, you know, putting extras on. You know how Drake is. My brother, my favorite partner to perform with. Man, the world, he just poured it on. As he's pouring it on, Sierra and Russ is walking to the car. Embarrassing. Now, my thing is, you guys are separated for so long, you're remarried. At first, when I thought about it, I was like, oh, man, she's acting bitter. You know, anybody can say that. that's an easy answer. My, one of my things is, I think it's a publicity stunt. Because um, it was too perfect time. And I don't see you being mad, being married, being in love, or whatever it is. Future's, he's literally at a show. You guys are both in the industry. You're going to cross paths. So her just leaving, oh, that was not a good look. And it was actually just, it's just life is so funny. They're walking out trying to remain calm. In the background, you hear Drake, my brother, man, the best performer, the world. And it's like, oh, you guys just it's, leaving. It's high key embarrassing, man. Uh, <laughs> like as a man, as Russell Wilson, old do boy, yes, yes, dear, let's go. And then Sierra, uh, everyone claims she's so unbothered, you know, and she's moved on and she's this and that. And you let a man run you out. If me and my wife would have been there having drinks, partying, dancing, like we balling out. Yeah, that's it, yeah. like you know it is what it is. You know you guys have a kid together, but the way you guys just run, like it's embarrassing to me. I'm so sick of Russell Wilson, bro. Like <laughs> he needs to grab his cojones and he needs to stand up as a no, man for real. Because I would have been like, we ain't going nowhere. We're balling too. We having money too. We li- I don't care yeah. about the- Listen, you can be humble all your life. But okay, some point, baby, let's you go. You got to stand tall. And if you guys are married, and if you guys have both moved on from your last situations, marriages, relationships, and you guys are together, you guys are not also not only celebrities. You guys are also wealthy people. Like nobody's gonna move this mountain. So it's just more of I think it being either. Her being worried about it too much or it's just too little because I can't see any in between when it comes to something like that. You guys are both in the industry, so it's not like by mistake. It's not he's stalking you. It's not like you popped up on him. You guys went to a party, an after party for the Super Bowl. Russ is a quarterback. Future is an artist, a, a rap star. So it's kind of like you got to be kind of logical with it, you know, and them leaving like that and having Drake in the background, flat out and that, that just set it off, man. That I laughed so hard at that, and people might not even laugh. You just got the irony. It just, oh, yeah. you know, we're leaving because of this guy, and I Drake saw, is shouting him out. I saw some out. people, you know, saying, oh, well, she's not bothered. She's, that's a grown-up thing to do. And then I saw some people who was like, you know, she still loves him. And the, the you know, the second part made more sense to me because it's like, if she's so unbothered, you know, then she would have sat there and just chilled. But something about future being there made her want to leave the vicinity, and it's just just awkward, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're married with kids, you're in love, you and Russell Wilson post more than he posts about football. And he, you guys couldn't sit there and stay. So I don't know what that was, man, but I'm quite embarrassed, and I want Russell to get it together. I want the man up. Man, listen, man up. And if you feel a way, if you can say uh, that you disagree or you do agree, then hit me and bro up. Let us know how you feel. We really want feedback from people because we do get some. But having everybody, you know, feedback on different topics. Grab your lot. balls, man. And especially this one because it does have a lot to do with not only being a celebrity, being wealthy, but also has to do with the black community and how we respond to each other, how we respond to trauma, how we deal in certain situations. Co-parenting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Co-parenting. Exactly. It got so much more than just celebrity and seeing that. So if they thought about that in a higher level, I don't think they would have left like that. Um, people don't think things affect people. We talk about so much in the news and act like it's nothing. It's just a grain of salt when really it affects us. And we start to not if think like it, then it's trend things that are trendy and we start to do certain patterns that are like it. But um, that situation, like I said, was weird to me. So that's how I wanted to kick it off because it was bothering me, man. It's just so much going on, Super Bowls up and down, and it's like, dog, you guys want to do this? This what you want to do, Russ? Not only you stunk it up this year, you want to let your backbone just fall apart, huh? <laughs> little backbone gone, huh? A little courage from Walgreens? Like, buy some <laughs> nah, courage? Huh? I feel you, man. I, I totally respect that. Um, speaking, switching gears, though, speaking of staying still in the same, you know, Super Bowl type feel, um, during the weekend, you know, had all types of parties and events. Uh, Kodak Black was shot during one of the parties, um, and it was at Justin Bieber's party. 
and you know, um, no no fatalities, which is a good thing. There was most people shot though, um, but I have an issue with it, and it's so funny because um, comedian Carlos M spoke on it as well. And uh, my issue is that there's been no arrest, there's been no news on it. But if Justin Bieber was shot at Kodak's party, to me, it'd be a whole uproar, the thugs are out. Listen. We need to arrest people. Justin Bieber got caught with lean. And they discontinued And they discontinued it. and shut down activists the company because they didn't mean for it to reach people like that. And it had been killing us Negroes for a long time. So just imagine if Justin Bieber would've got shot attending a Kodak Black uh, venue or event. It would have been helicopters, news articles, you know, shame in our culture. It's always good to point the finger at us and make us look bad. Because I really didn't hear he got shot until probably like four days after. So low key. It was so low key. And that's my thing. It barely made the news. Um, at first, it was like just some people got shot. And then like the next day, it was like, oh, Kodak got shot. You know, when, they, when the other sibling, uh, a celebrities get shot, it's like, hey, so-and-so is a critical and this and that. And with him, it was just like, hey, he got shot. Oh, is that Justice Party? Oh, he'll be all right. And my thing is they don't treat, you know, black incidents and, and white incidents the same. You know what I'm saying? Because if Justin was at somebody else's party, it'd be, it'd be big. You know, a pop culture star getting shot and someone needs to be arrested. There's got to be somebody held accountable. He was around all the hoodlums. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Somebody yeah. got to go down for this. And even with the response in the ambulance, if you watch the video, there's a video of the aftermath. And there's a guy laying there for 30 minutes. Luckily, he did survive. But it's like also the response time of things is how they treat us and treat situations we're in or around. But um, for sure, it would have been a totally different story or headline if Justin Bieber was shot instead of Kodak Black at Kodak Black's event. Exactly. And just because it was Justin Bieber, they're going to keep it low key. Hopefully, he doesn't get any lawsuits against him or anything like that. You see what happened with Travis Scott. He's still, I mean, I don't even know if he'll be able to fully recover. He is a powerful dude. He has a lot of good following. But he also has this thing. It's going to take a while to shake because people are putting this on him because of what happened at his concert. But I think that it would definitely be another way around if it was the other way around. Ain't no way around it. A white guy gets shot at a black party. The hoodlums came out to play, and they're going to put the finger dead at us. I know, man. And that's and that's some I feel like I needed to speak on because, like I said, it would have been totally different if it was uh, somebody else, you know, getting injured at a party. You know, it would have been – we've had those situations where, you know, worlds have crossed paths and – it's an issue because, you know, you're in somebody else's world and, you know, you're not supposed to be around them or that's not how you live your life, you know. So I, I agree with that, man. But um, also this past weekend. Everybody want to be a nigga. Until, until it's time, time to be a, a nigga. nigga. Rest in peace, Paul Mooney. <laughs> um, 